Hi, my name is Anamika Hops, and this is The Art Friend Show, where every conversation focuses on getting to know the essence of creativity itself. I'd love to invite you as well to join me inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics and join in with other art friends around the world. Thanks so much for joining us, and let's get to the show. Hello, it's Anamika or Mika. I am an artist here in Portland, Oregon, and I'm doing 100 days of art friend interviews. And today, my special guest is artist Stephanie Ryan, who's located in Pennsylvania. And she's gonna join me here in the live shortly. And this is another really fun one. We have never met um, besides 10 minutes ago when we chatted in Zoom to get centered and prepared for this Instagram Live together. So we're gonna get to know each other in this conversation. And um, thank you so much for joining. If you're joining live, you can join the conversation by putting some comments in there. And if you're watching this in the future, please um, comment with something interesting that you learned and share it in your stories. Invite other people to participate or um, join this community project. It's definitely um, igniting a fire in me and um, I'm so excited. Okay, I can see Stephanie here on the call and so I'm going to invite Yes, yes. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Welcome. Hi. I'm doing well. How Thanks are for you? coming on the Art Friends show. Well, thanks for having me. This is really exciting. I'm Thank so you. excited for and, you. And I love how you just decided to put yourself in there and participate. And that kind of gung-ho attitude, I'm sure, has served you in your art career, can you just tell us a little bit about, you know, where you live, what your, you know, if you like kind of a little nutshell of personal life and when you got started as an artist and what you do now. That's a bunch of fun. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Um, I live in Pennsylvania and I'm a watercolor artist and educator and I have um, been self-employed for about 11 years now, kind of doing my own art thing here, which is really exciting. And uh, the main part of my business is art licensing. So I've been art licensing since 2011. And that's kind of the main part of my business. And then in recent years, I've just kind of reached like, trying to get into yeah. those multiple streams of income and yeah. started uh, creating oh, cool. classes. I had a class on Skillshare. And now oh, cool. I'm offering them on my website. And um, I have like an, an IG subscription Everyone, that I'm playing around with and, you know, and then, yeah, and then all the usual stuff, you know, I have my original arts, I have some prints available. So, you know, really just um, branching yes. my business out as much so, as I can. First of all, how is yeah. it for you teaching yeah. and in, in these myriad ways, do you teach mostly pre-recorded? Do you teach live? What's your, what, what's your, your, what do you love doing in those offerings? Uh, so I do a lot of pre-recorded lessons and when I first started, uh, they were highly like kind of produced ones. Like I did voiceovers mm -hmm. and all that, which I love doing. Um, and then for like the IG subscription, I'm just recording and I'm talking and I'm painting and that has been a lot of fun without yeah. like having to go and edit everything and that I really enjoy. But I think the thing that I love the most is on this live course that I have right now, my intuitive watercolor florals course, um, I have a live yeah. Zoom class every week. And so I go on and I paint live and that uh -huh. has been, I think the most fun for me. So I'd love to figure out how to offer like live uh -huh. painting demos for people because oh my the, just the inner, I love the interaction. I, so I'm like, I'm like, yeah, this. I'm like, oh my gosh, really, really, I like, in 2017, <laughs> I got grant funding to like hire a videographer and 
produced my first online course and it was beautiful. And then the first time I ran it, I learned so much. I wanted to make changes to the videos, but you know how big a deal that is if it's all edited. And I kind of wor worked mm -hmm. a similar trajectory and my favorite thing is to just be present with people. Yeah, I, I didn't think I would like it. I was so nervous uh -huh. to do it because I'm super introverted. And oh, that's so I, I really love it. So like, I, I, I want to figure out how to do question it. question for you. Um, when you're teaching on Zoom, mm -hmm. do you know, uh, or sorry, I just, <laughs> fun fact, when I teach on Zoom, sometimes I take <laughs> a separate um, tripod and I join the same Zoom room from a different device and I point it like at my hands. So I'm able to talk to students as well as demonstrate. Do you do that? Do you know that? And do mm -hmm. oh, okay, cool. I do. That's yeah. I, I set it up that way. It took a little while to figure yes. out like how not to get the feedback if you have like cool. both of them going and all that. But yeah, that's what I've been doing, and it's it's been really great. So uh, so I've been, been trying to figure fun. out how to do that on Instagram Live, and I cannot figure it out without a terrible audio loop. Mm. Um, but. Yeah, that was, wouldn't that be the no thing? Idea. It's like having an overhead projector. Uh, yeah. So okay, it, yeah. I'm curious about um, your Instagram subscription and like what what that's like for you, what your goal is with it, how it's going, etc. Yeah, it's we started in October, and you know it was it was, you know, do we do Instagram? Do we do Patreon? Like how? Do I spend time building up mm -hmm. subscribers in YouTube, which is a way to go to, and then you point yeah. those people into the different directions. Um, but we just decided to give Instagram mm -hmm. a try since it was new. And so it's always like so important mm -hmm. to get into things when they're new um, before everybody's doing them. And so mm -hmm. it really is just an experiment to see what we can do. And so it's $4.99 a month. And what we decided mm -hmm. was to offer two, two videos a month that are, you know, me painting. And the whole idea is it's intuitive. And so whatever I'm feeling in the moment, I go and I paint cool. and I just talk through it. And then um, the community, like I, people can mm -hmm. comment or we can do DMs. And so it's been a really nice experience. Mm -hmm. It's been slow to grow. And so it's been a couple of months and we're like, you know, wondering, is it worth it or not? But I think these kinds of yeah. things, you really have to That's stick hard. with it. Yeah. Especially since it, so new yeah. yeah so it's great the only thing that i don't like about it is that for instagram you have right. to record so it vertical it. and so it yes. doesn't translate uh -huh. for oh, man. anything I, else i fantasize about yeah, like so. a, a video an art video creation process where i do something once and it's like it, it populates instagram and reels yep. and youtube and my like insider community court you know wouldn't that yep. be amazing but i i have not figured that out yeah right? i i continually try i totally hear you on that because our time is so limited in terms of like content production and right. teaching and that sort of energy is very different being on than um a lot of other aspects of running a business or creating our work so yeah yeah so what we're trying to do is we're taking that video we're pushing it out on Pinterest, mm -hmm. you know, clips of it. And then we are um, also oh, wow. putting it so on so the blog. Are. And when you say so, we, do you have so, a team that you're working yeah. with? I have um, an operational cool. VA and then a VA. And they help me manage multiple, yeah. multiple parts of my business at this point, which I resisted getting any mm -hmm. help for the longest time. But it's so hard to oh to keep all of the things going and manage all the ideas and everything. I mean, just my, my licensing business alone could I so be a full-time project I, for me. I hired wonderful Leslie Costin, who works as a virtual assistant in 2017, I believe. Was it 2017 or 16? Leslie, if you watch this in the future, let me know. Um, and we started working together in she helped me, um, you know, with that first online course. And then she was like the heartbeat 
of everything consistent. So my, my newsletter was able to be so consistent because right. of that workflow. And for a while I had this wonderful copy editor and it was like, because of these other professionals in my business, I had these incredible support pillars mm -hmm. and the year round teaching and all of that. And this past year with my life, like I, I've been going through a divorce. Um, that's kind of the nutshell. Um, and so Leslie is like, the most minimal working just with my mentoring clients and a little bit of back end support, but oh my gosh, I miss it. I miss it because, you know, I'm self publishing my newsletters right now and doing everything. And it's like, there's only so much time and we really have to stay yeah. in our zone of genius as much as we can afford to, but it's also really yep. showing me how to optimize my business and what's essential and what's not. And I think that some of me would kind of like, maybe I made things too complicated or what, you know, a little more like, like they can be a little more quick and dirty. That's, you know, if I can't hire help right now, they just have to be like, the <laughs> yeah. You gotta have to some let go of some of that perfectionism. So, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's a yeah. big lesson, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's like me going from the super polished videos to live and like, where it's just yeah. like, Oh my gosh. And then so it's like, easier. you just publish it and that's it. Yeah. That's cool. So, um, one yeah. thing you were talking about yeah. is like, you've had your business for 11 years. Hey, is that correct? And now you're at this point of mm -hmm. saying, you know, what's next or what's, what's the direction. And, um, you know, it sounds like you've really been sitting with the idea of a membership in some form and you have this Instagram, uh, membership that you're trying out, what's your vision for that? If you were to step back and it's, and it's like working, what would that feel like for you? You know, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's like still like, I'm trying to figure out all these multiple streams of income and like, and just like dipping my toe yeah. in each different thing yeah. to see what will work. And so it's like, you know, I have the licensing. Um, I, I, I know that people have been talking about print on demand companies like um, Redbubble and Society6, like, and people are generating incomes there. And like, should I try that? Or should I go with just making classes? Or should I try this as the subscription thing? Whoa. Like, maybe I should get into YouTube oh, first and yeah. then generate subscribers to then yeah. send them to oh, my gosh. Patreon. Like, so what should I do? Like, I'm so with you. <laughs> I know every it's, single day. It's so like, much. We yeah, could it's like on, we could start an entire online empire if we only could work twenty four seven with a giant team of people to help us implement. Yeah. Yep. So it's like it's like how do I mm -hmm. take this basic thing and optimize well, it the best yeah. I can? And so, if you can, I ask you a question, kind of a mentoring -y type question. Mm -hmm. If you could, yeah. <sighs> release all the marketing because a lot of that is audience building and marketing and you your business mm -hmm. is working and you're just like this is great what would you be creating what would you be creating if it, it like it was guaranteed to be supporting your life well i think, think for me the easiest thing has always been florals watercolor florals has have been the thing that have come yeah. to me like so naturally and so that would be the yeah. easiest path for me forward. Um, but I also have this love for um, mm -hmm. kind of spiritual work and um, creating classes mm -hmm. about yeah. painting meditations and um, these like sacred circles that I, that I, that I do that I'm getting cool. ready to launch a class cool. for um, probably this summer where it's just like, you, it's not yeah. painting anything specific. Like you are just yeah. trying to work through your blocks and your, you know, everything cool. and just like put paint on yeah. paper and not care about what it looks like. So it's like a combination of those two things that always painting like, florals, but they're like this. The painting floral, you know? and then it's like deep mm -hmm. spiritual mm -hmm. work. And let me ask you one more question um, about mm -hmm. that. Like how many people do you feel like you have capacity in a year, for example, to do that work with? Or if it were one-on-one? Do you imagine it one-on-one -on -one or do you imagine it like? Okay, cool. No yeah. idea. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't thought that that yeah. expansive about it. Like, I'm just trying to figure yeah. out the directions going at the moment. Oh. Oh my. But I would love, you know, of course, I would love to 
have a community of people to share all this stuff yeah. with because I get such great feedback just from the, the intuitive watercolor class alone. And it's not, I'm not getting feedback about, oh my mm -hmm. gosh, I love painting these flowers. I'm getting feedback mm -hmm. about, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. letting go of like all this perfectionism and being able just to cool. let the materials do the work for me yeah. has been yeah. so powerful for people. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Dude, I, we're, we're, I'm at I the wish, crossroads okay, I wish I could, for like, sure pull the answer for you out of <laughs> that's what everybody yeah, says it's an thing, ongoing issue I know in my own journey right now is like I we all at, at we we come to these crossroads again and again right we it's like you'll figure it out now mm -hmm. and then it will be right size for your life and then you'll grow or your business will grow or your community will, you know like there's there's going to be this point of choice of what's next often and i think the the nugget that's like coming through for me really strongly while we're talking is to there's so many channels to get your message out there and one thing you were mentioning before, when we were checking in before we came live is like the overwhelm that can occur when it's like gotta go gotta be famous on youtube and TikTok and insta scramble and all the things like all at once mm -hmm. it's this sense of like well what do we want to be creating no matter what because all of these vehicles like we've ridden several waves if you've been in business for 11 years you've seen like the rise in kind of bastardization of etsy and like the different channels that you're going and what's next and so we'll always be utilizing the tools of the time to do our thing and share our message and so i mean i think a bit of it is a luck is luck and timing and a bit of it is strategy but it's like which channels amplify that and allow you to be painting those florals and guiding those people who are really touched by the spiritual work that you offer. And no matter what. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. So it's a, it's a lot of soul searching for sure to see where, where I fit in. And, you know, I mean, even with licensing, I could probably put all of my time into licensing mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and be okay too. Um, but it's like, mm -hmm. how does that fill oh. me up? And so maybe that's the question, yeah. like what really yeah. fills me up the most? And, you know, when I think about doing print on demand sites, right. like I feel so a little that, drained, and, and no honestly, <laughs> I'm just like, oh up God. Up I could talk to you for like an hour, but I have a, I have a neighbor kiddo <laughs> hired as a oh, mother's helper with my three-year-old because there's like a school snow closure. <laughs> <laughs> so I do have to wrap it up. But if you're interested, <laughs> dear people watching in learning more of Stephanie Ryan's story and how inter intricately linked also your own personal you know wellness is with your painting and how much you have to offer there definitely check her out follow her she has an email list that you said you'll have a free painting meditation when people yeah if you go on to my uh website mm -hmm. there under education there's a uh, free painting cool. meditation called paint from the heart and you cool. can sign up for that and then get the Amazing. video that would be Yay. great and um yeah it's so nice to meet you. This is such a fun, like, thank you know. Thank you. It was great. Thank you. I love that you're doing this. And, like, congratulations on, on the outpouring thank of people that you. are here I'm, to support you. I'm also so figuring out what's you're next. Welcome. And I, I feel like I'm coming from doing really deep work with in with one-on-one -on -one clients in my mm -hmm. intensive 90-day program. And I can only do, like, a few at a time. And this is like a way I'm trying to workshop a global offering or a really, you know, a really community offering that feels also sustainable, aligned with my energy, aligned with what actually serves people. And so just a hundred different conversations, a hundred days, and we can hopefully help each other figure something out, walk the path. Uh, yay. I think it will oh. be amazing. You have the perfect personality for it. So Thanks. just go yeah. for it yeah your Thank your you. like energy is infectious I, so yeah it's keep it's keeping me in them. motion for sure i've been joking with my friends it's just a yeah. hundred days of putting lipstick on and like <laughs> it's like you know the pandemic <laughs> and everything it's like even that'll be life changing so um cool i will see you yeah. back in the zoom room to debrief for a sec and everyone
Thank you for joining. Okay, thank and you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye. I'd love to have you inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics. Follow the link that's in the show notes or find it on my website at onamika.com.